videos and how I came here to this program with Keo. And what I learned about it is that now uh, that athletics is not the only thing that we like for picture in. Academics is first. You have to um, uh, have a GD to have a job, and you need to uh, academics first before athletics. If you do your academics, you pay your academics. Uh, it will get you far in life, and then after that, it's athletics. And whatever you want to do with it, that'd be good. One of my goals is like my my dad worked for his own self, does construction, so I want to make him the, his own job, make a company. That's my goal. <laughs> we got to make those important. Just because a teacher doesn't give me homework, that doesn't mean I have homework. Because as a student, you have homework every night. But you got to make yourself have homework. Because one day in that class, you're going to have a test. And if I'm not studying every night, guess what? My grade is going to show on that test. So you got to make sure you're doing those things. Uh, make sure you're the kid that, that people want to be around, that people want to talk about, that they want to talk about. The thing I learned today is that your education matters more than anything else. Alright, what I learned is that, that you can be the best player in the world, but if you don't got good academics, it won't take you far. Oh, I learned that to be a team is the most important thing, and before you can become a team, you have to get your grades up. And this is a very good program to inspire kids to get, get their grades up and work like a team. And next time, I'm going to invite a lot of friends. I learned that even if you want to do athletics, academics come first. This is uh, Darren Knowles. I'm here with uh, Mr. Quentin Samuels. And this fellowship with the fellows is a wonderful program for our young men. I wish I had had it when I was a young guy. It teaches uh, respect, teaches accountability, teaches young men how to be men. And because they're around other men who are positive and who are doing things and being examples for them. I learned that in life, if athletics doesn't mean just mean like being a good sportsman um, and be able to play sports. It means like the A in athletics means the academics. You have to have a good academic grade or 3.0 grade um, percentage or to make it in life. Because without your education, you can't make it in life to go to the places you want to go. And then plus, you have to have a good education and academic score to be able to play sports. I, I like this program and I'm gonna come back whenever we have it. I learned that working together it mean, it's to keep the people from hurting each other and working hard. But I learned that this program is to take life serious and be kindful to your teachers and when you get when they make you mad, um just pull off or go outside and just take a break. Uh, I learned that if you, I learned that if you have a problem with somebody, just walk away and just like, just reason, like reason what you're doing and just let it go and I have fun. This program, I, I learned about other athletes they, that they play hard and good. I learned at this program to, to have fun and play with your friends and play with each other nicely and kindly. All right. It's best to be civilized than to be horrible. Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, you can still change and make your future. Yeah. I learned that it's important to have have a connection with the other young men in this community because the young men that's, that's around me and that's around other people and that are known for what they do, they're not like other ordinary young men, you know what I'm saying? Like, all these young men have certain certain things that they have inside of them. But it's like it's really important to you know, go to school and do what you need to do. It's really important that we keep that image of where we are and that we always stay true to ourselves. And really like we not necessarily killing them with kindness, killing them 
by showing them that we're not the type of young men that they think we are. I'm going to take time to uh, really encourage you to come out to fellowship with the fellas. It's a great organization and program that we have going for our young men. Young men have power, and we need to let them see uh, that they are our future. And so we're taking this time to pour into them, and we've got some powerful speakers and activities ready for them to go take care of our future. Again, we're teaching our young men to rise up. We're teaching them to be responsible. We're teaching them to act with integrity. We're teaching them to speak appropriately and give their best effort. Again, fellowship with the fellas. Rise up.